Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Please join in scene. Please join in scene number five. Five hundred and fifty-three. Let me shut this. Let me shut this puppy down. Joyful, 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 Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Thank you for gathering here as we celebrate liturgy here in the sanctuary, along with those that are following online at home. Today's Mass is, is being offered uh, for the repose of the soul of Fel Feliza Navarro. Nope, it's wrong one. Mario Aliello. And also today we celebrate the memorial of St. Anthony of Padua, priest and doctor of the church. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Coming together as God's family, let us acknowledge your sins and ask for God's love and mercy. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us and forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who gave St. Anthony of Padua to your people as an outstanding preacher and an intercessor in their need, grant that with his assistance, as we follow the teachings of the Christian life, we may know your help in every trial. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Reading from the first letter of Kings, Elijah said to Ahab, Get up and drink, for there is the sound of heavy rain. So Ahab went up to eat and drink, while Elijah climbed to the top of Carmel, crouched down to the earth, and put his head between his knees. Climb up and look out to sea, he directed his servant, <clears throat> who went up and looked but reported, there is nothing. Seven times, he said, go look again. <clears throat> and the seventh time, the youth reported, there is a cloud as small as a man's hand rising from the sea, Elijah said, go and tell Ahab, harness up and leave the mountain before the rain stops you. In a trice, the sky grew dark with clouds and wind and heavy rain fell. Ahab mounted his chariot and made for Jezreel. But the hand of the Lord was on Elijah, who girded up his clothing and ran before Ahab as far as the approaches to Jezreel. The word of the Lord. Thanks to be to God. It is right to praise you in Zion, O God. It is right, it is right, right to, to praise you, you in Zion, Zion, O God. You have visited the land and watered it. Greatly have you enriched it. God's water courses are filled. You have prepared the grain. It, it is, is right, right to praise you in Zion, O God. Thus have you prepared the land drenching its furrows, breaking up its clods, softening it with showers, blessing its yield. It is right to praise you in Zion. You have crowned the year with your bounty and your paths overflow with rich harvest. 
the untilled meadows overflow with it, and rejoicing clothes the hills. The blessing, Father. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, go and proclaim the good news. Alleluia, alleluia. I give you a new commandment. Love one another as I have loved you. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, I tell you, unless you your righteousness surpasses that of the scribes and the Pharisees, you will not enter into the kingdom of heaven. You have heard that it was said to your ancestors, you shall not kill, and whoever kills will be liable to judgment. But I say to you, whoever is angry with his brother will be liable for judgment. And whoever says to his brother, Raka, will be answerable to the Sanhedrin. And whoever says, you fool, will be liable to the fiery Gehenna. Therefore, if you bring your gift to the altar and there recall that your brother has anything against you, leave your gift at the altar, go first and be reconciled with your brother and then come and offer your gift. Settle with your opponent quickly while on the way to court with him. Otherwise, your opponent, opponent will hand you over to the judge, and the judge will hand you over to the guard, and you will be thrown into prison. Amen, I say to you, you will, be not rele- you will not be released until you have paid the last penny. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord. Yesterday and today, we continue to hear Elijah, the way he was so faithful and put his trust in God. And you can see the way he does things, the wonders of God. If you are faithful to God, God always responds and makes you as his instrument to make wonders. But we have to ask ourselves, are we faithful to the Lord? We are called to make our relationship with God to be active and small. But sometimes we tend to think that maybe we cannot do that. And we look sometimes on something which is above our capacity and just forget those things which are just simple. Just a relationship between you and your brother. Your relationship between you and your sister. And your relationship between you and the community. How does it go? And that's why Jesus is challenging us today. When you realize that there is something when you have approached before the sacrifice. Something is going not well. Go back to your brother, to your sister. Reconcile to one another. Sometimes you can say, no, I don't care. No, you have to take care. Because that's who you are. So that you can make your sacrifice more acceptable and lovingly. Because we are not perfect. And that's why he wants us to recognize our weaknesses and come forward and say, my brother. Uh, you know, sometimes the people, they come to me and say, Father, I don't know what am I going to do with my brother. I say, what do you mean? No, I've tried, I've tried, I've tried, but uh, he's not ready. I say, now is your time now to let the Holy Spirit transform you. You cannot change your brother, but you can change yourselves the way you can deal with your brother. You cannot change your wife, but you can understand your wife the way you can deal with her in a positive way. Because you cannot change someone, God only, 
can make a difference. And that's why we have to accept ourselves that I've reached at a point, God, come and make a difference in my life. So you have to surrender completely in the hands of God and let the Holy Spirit now change you, make a difference in you. Be humble like Elijah. Be faithful like Elijah. But at the same time, be ready to sacrifice yourself for the sake of the glory of God and for the sake of others. I know it's not an easy, but by the glory of God. And once you let the Holy Spirit transform you, you can make a difference. Amen. Amen. Please stand. Lord Jesus, you have showed us the way how we can reconcile one another. Gives us courage always as we encounter challenges in our lives. And especially when we find it so difficult to let it go, to forgive. Give us courage always to be patient, but at the same time to walk through in the presence of the Holy Spirit. And for this, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For us to recognize that when we are faithful to the Lord, as Elijah was, the Lord's hand is always with us. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For us to strive to be close to God at all times and avoid anger and judgment towards one another, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For us to be inspired by St. Anthony of Padua, priest and doctor of the church, to be bold, share the word of God, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those in the Ukraine, Israel, and all areas of the world where there is war and unrest, to be strengthened by God's love as they wait for peace and justice, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those in hospitals, nursing homes, homebound, all suffering in silence to be healed, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For us to see as Jesus sees, hear as Jesus hears, and love as Jesus loves, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hand, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, O Lord, we pray, the offerings placed on your altar in commemoration of blessed Anthony of Padua, so that as you brought him glory, you may, through these sacred mysteries, grant to us your pardon, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Be with you. Lift up your hearts. Up Let us give thanks to the Lord our God.
It is true, a right and just to in our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For us on the festival of St. Anthony of Padua, you bid your church rejoice. So too, you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we are claim. God of hosts, hear and hear us, Amen. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy there for these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like they do for so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave him thanks, broke it, and gave it to disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that we have heard us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that in partaking with the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Bill, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Mario Aello, whom you have called from this world to yourself, Grant that he who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also, brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all have died in mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, O oh, we pray, that the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, you may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ, Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will your be done, judgment with us is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, 
as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from evil, evil, precious, grand peace nowadays, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and gracious grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. Who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Peace, peace be with you, Father. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the sap of the Lamb. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you, Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
blessed is the servant whom the Lord finds, finds watching where he comes. Amen, I say to you, he will put that servant in charge of all his property. Let us pray. May partaking at the heavenly table, almighty God, confirm and increase strength from on high in all who celebrate the feast day of blessed Anthony of Padua, that we may preserve in integrity the gift of faith and walk in the path of salvation you traced for us through Christ our Lord. Amen. On behalf of Dick and Tom, I want to say thank you for your prayers and for your participation. And for those who are watching online also, thank you for your prayers and for your participation. We are called to settle our differences before we come for the sacrifice, the Eucharistic sacrifice. But sometimes we say, oh, I will see next time. Next time is not yours. Yesterday is history. Tomorrow is mystery. And today is a gift. Let us make use of our own gift that God has given us. Because yesterday is not ours already. And tomorrow, that's God's uh, preference. So take care, my dear brothers and sisters, and be with an open heart and joy and big smile wherever you meet your brothers and sisters. Don't keep grudges, eh? jealousy. Eh? Don't close the door of forgiveness. Just be open always. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. We go in peace.